I am basically in the middle of building stuff here, and that's why we kind of have to do things, because this thing showed up and is pelting me with drones constantly. I already tried to do something about this. By the way, hello and welcome to Space Engineers. I already tried to do something about this, and I have guns now on this ship, and it's not... Not all... Yeah. It's a lot of guns? The problem you can see is that the area starts looking like... Uh, yeah, not not really good. And I um, I have all these broken pieces of drones around me. So what we need to do is we need to get the drill started and have to get that thing working because I need gold, I need silver. I brought in the last remaining gold and silver that I had. I, it should still be enough, but uh, for all the weapons that I'm adding here and for the ammo and all that stuff, we need gold and silver. We also need platinum. We need to, we need to be able to grab that. Let me reload my batteries. The, again, the the problem is that the drones already broke a lot of stuff, and that's why we need to get going, or we need to, or we need to break the the observer. Not true yet. I've, I'm. I tried. I'm trying a lot of the weapon systems. So, I have the drill here, and I have the pistons, and we can start this. So this thing can run. We hopefully are still locked to the ground. Uh. No, the block vanishes all the time. So uh, I'm pretty sure it has to. Yeah, it has to do with the uh, with the built-in repair system. I changed the built-in repair systems to also grab all the drone parts. So now I have to change them back. It's just it's the worst. So we need to change this not owned and then we hopefully can have that thing sitting there so that the the whole thing is anchored to the ground and we are not uh, breaking the drills there the, the drill will take a while but again I wanted to get that thing to work so that I can at least drill into the into the the two hopefully two veins that I have here and then bring that thing back up uh, it, it is it, huh. <laughs> I'm so not prepared for the drones uh, the, the lasers are not hitting it hard enough and the flag gun is has a higher range so I've, I've set that up kind of so that I use the lasers if they get closer everything is set to okay you you can see that everything is set to um, basically target subsystems so they the lasers target the target the the thrusters of the drones the flag is just shooting the drone and now, oh, we, that, that one was worked out a lot better than I thought. Uh, normally, again, you, you can see they, they come, come relatively close and some landed even on the deck. And uh, I had some damage to, don't know, parts of the ship. Like, for example, this uh, solar panel constantly being destroyed um i don't know why that but uh by the way you, you can see i'm i'm working on a lot of stuff here and it is coming together i now i'm kind of in the phase where i'm starting to decorate more and 
Uh, I got the crane to work, but we will take a look at that in a second. So, um, yeah, let me stop rambling now and uh, I will come back in a bit with showing you around when I'm a bit more alive. Maybe a bit of a hard jump, but I brought the cruiser back to the base. I I needed to get out of there because the, the attacks got more frequent and uh, the, the amount of ammo that I had to dump into defending the cruiser and the, the problem with the weapons is kind of that... Um, it's weapon core and still these things were not as nice as I thought. The cruiser sustained more damage than I I liked. So, uh, changes. Uh, I, to speed up the drilling process, I went in and I, I painted a bit more, I built up a bit more, uh, it's it's all in there. So I went in and now I'm using the twin drills. I took a look at the twin drills, how crazy their drill is, their drill area is, and it's not as big as I thought. So that's why I'm using this contraption now to drill. We have some normal drills in there still, not that they do anything completely special. And we will take a look at the at this at the areas where we drilled. Uh, I will drive the tank over there and maybe scout out the location of the the station that is there. Maybe we can hit it with a tank. I'm not sure. Okay, uh, the crane. Just go over the crane for a second. So you can see that I changed uh, a piston there and uh, I there was a suggestion to use magnetic clamps instead of the the mergers and that's a good idea because now we remove a bit of the risk of too much clang in there i found fans old brain script and now we have a, a crane that is able to i can't get too close to it i hope you can see that so we we can we can do this now we have the rotation of the clamp a bit under control. It is best to do that with the arrow keys. You cannot uh, see that right now, but the, let's say it that way. The, the front now is turning and the arrow keys help us to be a bit more precise. We can turn this around. We can bring the clamp up and down. I hope you can see enough. And we can and we can move the whole thing up and down all with keys it's a good thing <clears throat> i've i'm now starting to decorate a bit i have engines in here now i hope i showed that this is a bit set up i have solar panels on here to give us a bit of power production changed out some windows on the on the whole thing and I'm going around it and I'm putting down some gantries to make the whole thing uh, I don't know give it a bit more texture but with the cruiser we run into a problem that thing is so heavy now that the wheels don't really hold up anymore um, I might want to try to give it some <sighs> I could go in and use, for example, hover engines. I've added them to the pack for, for to see that hover engines to maybe lighten the whole load a bit. We can't use, we can't use the thrusters. The whole thing sometimes just stands up and lifts on its side because the thrusters are still powerful enough to at least remove so much weight. <laughs> that everything works. Or we have to put in thrusters that moves the thing forward and backwards. That would a th would be a thing I, I could add and um, maybe we can hide, hide them somewhere. Uh, that would make that possible. Good. Let us grab the tank for a sec and we will drive over to the range where um, 
I have drilled my holes. I've made a small hole here to get into the whole thing a bit quicker. So, uh, the range is somewhere over there. I have marked it with uh, some markers to see where I have drilled so I don't fall into too big of a hole. Um, maybe we can speed up the the tank just a bit. That should be better. Um, again, I hope that I have enough ammo in here. Missing ammo. No, we are missing ammo on the on the whole thing there. So let us um, let us go back. I will arm up, and then we go over to the to the position. I will meet you back there. So you can see there's still a lot of debris left uh, from countless drones <laughs> that uh, attacked me. And you can see the two boreholes that I have here. I've marked them with some markers so we don't... Again, we, we are able to see them and then hopefully not drive into them. So I need the antennas. I need to be able to turn them off. Um, it's fairly deep. I... You can see the gold there. I stopped it once. Uh, I saw that there was no gold left. And here it was interesting. We really found a lot of silver that we drilled into. And that worked out pretty remarkable. Uh, I had to widen the boreholes because my piston snake needs a certain width to function. Um, Otherwise, the whole thing would have crashed into the rim of the borehole and that wouldn't have been too nice. So let us take the tank over the hill there because the, the observer that is attacking us should be somewhere behind there. And again, I hope that I have enough whatever to attack uh, the observer and m hopefully take it out. It, it would be great to be able to take it out. Uh, maybe I should turn on uh, subgrid damage, subsystems, and maybe we can take out... We will take out any for now. Um, it would be nice to take out the antennas from range so that no new drones can be spawned in. That is another borehole. That over there could be the observer. We will get a bit closer to it. It should be around two kilometers away. And if the base still is able to see us. We should be able to let us, no, not paint, turn off my antenna. And we turn, we have a button to turn off the antenna off the tank so that if we get somewhere, can't tell how far that is away the the base now has a picket railgun that is able to fire at smaller targets really well and if we if drones spawn in the picket railgun might still be able to to hit the targets So let us creep closer. Maybe the turret will open fire before anything else. Otherwise, we will have to run. 
Uh, we are just lightly armored. And I just want to... I wait for basically our turret to fire. Because then we know that we are in range. At the moment we can't see it because it... I'm pretty sure its antenna is turned off. Or did the Pegit Railgun hit the whole thing? That could be the case. It could be the case that the Pegit took it out. It has the reach. It has the reach, but I'm not sure if it was able to shoot through mountains or through, through hills here. Let us go and see. On. If it lights up, we might be screwed. Let me creep closer to it. <sighs> okay, there it is. I, I didn't even need to do too much. Uh, come on, Picket Railgun, please help us. <sighs> oh no, it's hitting us. Ah, oh, this didn't work out. And the railgun is not helping. Come on. The railgun should be absolutely in range for the whole thing. Okay, drone is down. The drone is down, but we need to get the... We need to get the base. Uh, maybe we, we already hit it. The Vulcan is not doing anything. How's that thing set up? Ah, it's damaged then now the setup doesn't really matter. Can we? It would be nice if we could hit it, but it can't, couldn't, it can't hit us. Uh, I will break off the attack fairly soon because I'm pretty sure we can't do a lot now. I just want to maneuver into a better position so that maybe we can hit something from here. Come on. Is it hitting anything? Is it hitting anything? Can we somehow... Could try to control it. Maybe... If we take out the antenna, that would be amazing. Come on, reload. No more power? Yes! Is there any weapons on there? I don't see weapons. So maybe we took it out. Uh, we will leave the turret to do some more damage and creep closer. And hopefully we are not getting fired at. Good that we could take this thing out. Um, assertive will spawn more. So that uh, 
it will not be perfect, let's say it that way, but um, that here at least took away the one threat that was able to 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 get us hard over the legs last last few hours. Weapons? There might be weapons somewhere in there. I'm I'm not sure. Okay, I think we can turn off the, the turret now. Light up the area. There is an antipersonal weapon there. There is turrets there. But maybe they don't have ammo anymore? Can we... And then control it? Destroy that. Maybe... Come on, reload. Can't see anything. Nice. That should be... <gasps> no, it's not everything. Thanks, turret. Oh, the turret was... Did rescue me there. Off. I'm... I'm too... I'm not careful enough. Or stuff like that I'm I'm so bad when it comes to attacking any structures I'm just destroying everything and then <laughs> then I'm then I'm done can I do some emergency uh, emergency repairs here I need some computers some motors what does this need small steel tubes some large steel tubes metal grids I'm pretty sure I can't I can't can't supply this but we will see maybe we can maybe we can oh that thing took some heavy hits yeah we might want to upgrade that uh, and think about other weapon systems not sure but good, that thing is done and dusted. We can leave it here. Uh, is there batteries? There's a battery. We will destroy that thing so that hopefully this doesn't have any more any more things. There is another battery but where it supplies the whole thing for two years. We might want to get rid of that in the roof underneath one of the beds. Where's the battery? Where is the battery? I don't see it. Maybe it's somewhere underground. Okay, we will leave it here to... to rot. Yeah, it could be that it is. Somewhere underground there, where, where we can't reach it. Good, that is done. Uh, hopefully the trash... <sighs> trash will take it out. Uh, we need to go back and repair the tank. And 
yeah, I will come back to you once I am back and then we can discuss the Land Cruiser a bit more. The tank did an amazing job for the the small little guy and we we don't know maybe in the future with the new warfare thing there's some upgrades that we can do to it that hopefully help out and maybe i should provide it with some heavier armor or something like that we will we will have to see how that works out good the cruiser again we we are starting or i'm starting to notice that the whole thing slows down in the area of the base again that is because we have one two three monster rovers here uh plus something there that we will go and take a look at in a moment so the something has to go and i think it will be the it will be this rover i will use the land cruiser to get this thing yeah to get rid of this thing i ah, that always sounds so bad i'm again the, the rovers are all doing a great job when it comes to what they are doing and this thing helped me out a bunch while being on mars but yeah it has to move for its successor and that is the land cruiser so this thing i will paint it before i will take a blueprint of it so that if we ever want we can bring it back so let us uh, um, drill platform don't know one we'll call it this way and then we just uh, blueprint the whole thing so that we uh, have it for later use me I'm I'm trying to get in the habit to do more more and more and more blueprints because I'm I don't know again I have to remove old stuff now and that stuff kind of deserves to be preserved for the future and uh, I'm <sighs> Again, I, I I like the new shiny stuff. That is the big uh, issue that we have. So you, you, by the way, you can see that the the cruiser is really, really slow. And even with the added, the the added, I added more gyros. It now turns really, really slow. Not that it is a problem that's kind of these things I'm pretty sure are not supposed to be uh, are not supposed to be fast uh, driving it it does drive driving it does really well still um, maybe we add another gyro or something like that I've added uh, to build the other thing that we will go to in a second I've added uh, built and repair to the back so we can drive hopefully just in front of the whole thing or drive with the back into into the whole uh, mobile platform there mobile drill platform and then we hopefully are able to just to just get it in range of the whole thing and then just uh, remove it. Good, let me, let me get this into, into position. I will wait a moment so that the, the basics can be done. Anything that just falls off if it's not uh, ground away earlier. Uh, and then we can mark the whole thing and get the the wheels later. So, 
again wheels that's how we how we get to that the wheels are a problem and by the way now the game slows down because it is the the presence the presence of built and repair systems is taxing on the system so um ugh, we have to reduce the amount of these the the wheels are a problem i have a lot of the the smaller wheels here the three by three wheels they are not they're good and you can see that they still work i will have to do a bit of gyro gyro work there to to get more gyros to to do the turning but it would have been better to design the whole thing i think around big wheels the big problem that we have with the five by five wheels and and just we we are just doing that to to prove a point i've I've done something again to just prove a point. I've built this. And this is the whole setup with uh, large wheels. So the 5x5 five five wheels. And let me take this over to... You can see that it is already, already a lot bigger than the, than the whole, uh, than the whole... Um, the whole cruiser we have right now but let us bring it closer to so that we get the perspective how much bigger it is and uh, th this would need a bit of work anyway because I, if we ever do a next iteration of the whole thing I would like to move the back drives uh, a bit out more uh, we can do the whole skid steering with the gyros so we don't need to completely be careful when it comes to how we position the the, the wheel gondolas there but um, having having it out a bit would be nicer I saw an amazing another amazing thing of the of deserts of Carrick where there's um where there's a, a carrier that has the gondolas off to the sides a bit more they stick out of the hull and it looks kinda neat um so now that we are close to the <laughs> to the land cruiser you you can see how how crazy big these these wheel <laughs> wheels are basically the drive sections or the the drive nacelles the wheel gondolas however you want to call them they are nearly as big as the as the land cruiser itself half i don't know they they are half the size of the of the land cruiser so the, hmm, i thought about updating the land cruiser with bigger wheels maybe put some gondolas on the outside here but the the problem is that then we would have to make the whole thing longer and the whole thing a lot bigger because it it wouldn't fit anymore really so the option would be to build something new that is a lot bigger than <laughs> than what we have right now and I'm not I'm, I have that in my head let's say it that way but I, I think I will not do it now <laughs> I will not do it now because that would just be another hours and hours sunk into this project to make it a lot bigger and to to get rid of some of the some of the problems that we have with the land cruiser again i think the neater option now is to put some thrusters on the land cruiser give it a bit more speed when we when we uh, want to drive it and put some more gyros in to give it some more turning power i think that's the option so the we still need to do some lighting we are still missing lighting all around the cruiser 
and I might move these off to somewhere else because have them hang here somewhere in the in just the 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 normal space is it's kind of not a good option. I will search for a better option when it comes to where could I place these things and we will fix the land cruiser before we start being interested in that's a good place and we just and then we just hide it behind a wall that's maybe the option so right now we have how many six nine and we will go to 12 and see how bad it still is and then we we shouldn't color them that way we should maybe keep them that color so that's nine and we will go to 12 and we will remove the ones we have i tested out the use of gyros just uh on their own with the skid steering that the problem that we run into is that skid steering and the gyros don't work well because the gyros kind of uh, try to counteract some of the movements that the that the skid steering wants so you have to incorporate the gyros into the skid steering uh, instead of uh, instead of just having so <clears throat> the the skid steering works without the gyros if you have enough power on the wheels again this whole thing here is a lot too big for it to work without the gyros but you can get it to run without the gyros for smaller stuff like the tank that's okay and i've just put a gyro on there to keep it stable and that's by the way where i tested it I wanted to keep it stable so that I could do longer jumps, but the problem with that is that then uh, I'm running basically against the movements that the wheels want to do, so I incorporated it. And now I lose, uh, did lose the stability option. It's it's a bit weird. So the, the use of gyros is kind of out of the picture when it comes to uh, using the skid steering script. By the way, where is the skid steering there? So we get the gyros and just add them to this group. Safe. And now we can just wait until they are built and then maybe test it a bit. So the, the whole thing, by the way, should be ready so that I can paint the that I can paint the rest of the mobile drilling platform. Again, it's it's sad to see the whole thing go, but again, I need I need to keep the game running at least uh, a bit better. That would be nice to not have it slow down to a complete halt. I'm, I'm again. I'm doing it a disservice by building these things. Okay, that worked out. Good. You were absolutely a help, and I like you, but I am sorry you have to be dismantled for the betterment of. Uh, the game so by the way this thing should go in a bit too I might blueprint it and then uh, we we can later grab it again I'm I'm not sure by the way this is cobbled together relatively quick I uh, just used and <laughs> and that was another experiment no that was not an experiment it was just pure <laughs> pure laziness Th these are all I think left wheels <laughs> all of them because I I couldn't be asked to to do it uh, in another way 
Uh, we have three gyros here and with three gyros this thing still works really fine. We have a reactor here and uh, nothing too special. I'm missing a lot of hinges. I would need more hinges to deal with the weight but for now one hinge works out. Again it, it, it is neat. The whole concept is absolutely neat but uh, John Rizzo asked me if if I dismantled the station. I, I don't or I didn't but if I would ever want to build something this big then maybe other things like the station and the other rovers have to go to not have the game die on me. So, good. The Land Cruiser is done. It is fully operational uh, and now it is a matter of just doing minor works on it, maybe paint some things more, give it a bit more detail, get rid of some of the flatter walls and again I want to put in some thrusters. So now the question is should we hide the thrusters or should we just display them? I kind of want to hide the thrusters so that uh, they do not they do not Hmm. So that they do not show up, not show up, but I want to have them. Yeah, I want to have them hidden. This whole thing needs the power, but I want to have the thrusters be kind of hidden. Uh, we need. We need for the turbofans, we need a lot of thruster components. So I think we will go vanilla, vanilla small Atmo thrusters to not have to deal with all the, to not have to deal with all, oh no, they, these are too big. We will go the, the smaller route. Sci-fi. We will go the, the sci-fi route. P. And maybe we can just hide them in here. And the problem is then the, the wheels could hit the whole thing. So maybe we find a better place to hide them. I've already used two small uh, turbo fans. To give it a bit more stopping power and to give it a bit more speeding power somewhere in here. Uh, there. Maybe we can do something similar. Something similar here. Oh, we can't. Yeah, we need a better place. Let me search for a bit of a better place to to hide these things and then we I will come back to you. I'm pretty sure that a thing as massive as this thing would need coolers. B a lot one, a lot of coolers. I'm I'm not sure how that would work. Um but this now is you can see all the air intakes that blow <laughs> that blow the bit of air or the bit of atmosphere that it can get from Mars into this housing for the cooler and then the 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 steam or some of the stuff coming out of there I hope you can see the I'm, I'm playing around with things that I usually don't do. See that? The the steam that's coming off of that. It comes out of here. So it it is no the, the the coolers do that. I I hope this works. Um I'm I found no good internal space where I could house the thrusters. Again, the, the thrusters are big. That's a bit of a a bit of a problem when it comes to that. So, we need to turn off the atmospheric thrusters that we have in the front. I need to do something with that. Maybe a thrust override so that 
nothing is touching them when I press buttons. Um, that might help. Just keep them on a low, low override to keep them running. I want the effect of the turning turbines there and I'm not getting that when they are turned off. And if I give it a bit of a thrust override, then we might achieve that it lifts up the whole thing just enough so that it it is a bit lighter. Um, but the, the thing is we need the dampeners to be able to deal with the thrusters in the back there. And I'm not sure how how much that whoa that does a lot for us this is only four thrusters and it already it already slows the whole thing down and all that stuff hmm. if I give these front thrusters. Just a really, really small thrust override. I have to be careful with them because, again, the whole thing, if they are turned on... Can I go for less? Uh, we will go for... That's just... That's nothing compared to the whole thing. That's tons or something like that and the whole thing is weighing 9,000 tons so maybe now they are spinning yes they are spinning so that effect is there and are they getting any uh, any lift is anything happening here I'm pretty sure it's not. There is nothing happening there. When they are set to a thrust override, they don't react to to inputs. So now we can we should be able to push the whole thing even with No, the handbrakes are holding tight. That's <laughs> That's okay. I, I can live with that. So that's good. That thing is stable now. It it gives us a bit more... What's with power? Two years? <laughs> yeah, no. We are, we are good. We are good when it comes to power. So that made the whole thing... a lot more viable. I didn't... Ugh. Ugh, haben Schild go and do all the the other things so we need to see Ugh, the turn rate is still abysmal it is better it is better but not as good as I would like it so Maybe we add some more. I don't want to make this into into a spinny, crazy fast thing. It should just again. It should just be. Yeah, that's the problem now with with the with the thrusters added. We really have to be careful when it comes to speeding up the whole thing. Uh, I don't want it to end up too fast. It would be crazy. 200 meter per second. Ugh, that thing in, in a really close to ground flight. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, normal gyroscopes. And then add them to the skid steer. Skid steering. And more gyros for you. Save. We need to wait until this is done. And then we hopefully see improvements. Otherwise, we have three more slots uh, that's hidden there. Otherwise, we, we have to hide gyros somewhere else. But 
with the thrusters, hopefully we we get a bit more a bit more of a faster move. And with the bit of thrust over we could bring up the thrust override even even more. We would have to just keep it below a certain I don't know, certain numbers to to make the thing even a bit more light. So one thing I want to build next is something that can transport and hold these cargo containers so that we have something that we can move them onto. Uh, and the thing I want to build is another thing from Deserts of Carrick. The enemies are using uh, hovercraft or something like hovercraft. That's by, by the way why I brought in the, the hover engines. I kind of want to do something with hover engines. Test it out if that works and then maybe have some have some hover engine powered uh, hovercrafts. Um, I don't count hovercrafts as flying. So I'm I'm willing to take that. So we will have to do a bit more with with thrusters then. But uh, maybe we can do another platform that we can put these uh, these containers on and then drive them back and forth between base and the land cruiser. And uh, if we if we need that, it's not too too bad. And another thing I want to do is have uh, a smaller vehicle that can do that and maybe use one that is not using uh, the skid steering script. Um, I think I will go vanilla, not vanilla wheels, because I found another wheel thing that I found pretty nice. We have the lifted suspensions. Uh, I didn't take a look at them. Ooh. Ooh. -hoo. That's pretty nice. Uh, let me just... Maybe we don't take the, the biggest one. 2x2, two 3x3, two, three 4x4. Three, four four. So it has... A bit smaller sizes. And again, it's... Uh, we, we will use... Definitely use the small ones. I'm I'm not willing to use the. But it seems. Oh no! What the? I just destroyed one of the outposts. Now another one is coming in. Yeah, the. Everything here gets too big. Uh, that's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. I will work. I will work with this uh, in smaller size and then maybe we can get something relatively fast, not too big, that we can use to haul uh, supplies in between base and this, this thing. Uh, again, we will have two ways to move stuff in between these things. That's the plan for uh, next time. So, again, we will declare the land cruiser to be functional and done. Uh, we we'll still have, by the way, to deal with this thing and this thing. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. Done. And now we move to something else uh, that is close related to the Land Cruiser. If I do some more updates or something to the Land Cruiser, I will definitely let you know. Good people, thanks for watching, I say. I hope you liked this episode. Um, I'm... Again, I, I, I like it too much. I like that stuff too much. Uh, let me know what, what else I could put into plan here. Um, good. Yeah, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next episode, I would say. See ya, guys.